I can't recall the exact first moment that we met. Um, I'm mostly just flooded with kind of happy memories uh, with Norman and Elena. Um, but there's just one story that um, I always think of um, with Norman. And it's when our kids were small and we all went to the River Cafe one day for lunch. And uh, so Elena just is such a generous, wonderful spirit. And so she brings all these toys and things for the kids to do so we can chat and have lunch. And one of them was uh, these building blocks. And they're these little like uh, magnetic kind of sticks that you can put together. And so we unwrap them and there's Norman sitting with the kids who are like three, four years old. And he's like, all right, so if you put them together like in the shape of a triangle, you're gonna get the strongest structure. <laughs> so he's just teaching the kids like the fundamentals of building and uh, you know, just making it very simple. And uh, yet very profound, because I'm like, that's Norman Foster teaching them, you know, the structures. And if you look at his building, there's a lot of triangles and uh, you know, I just, I just love that memory of him and, and the kids. And So uh, this show, The Illumination Show, uh, I had the idea to ask world leaders from different walks of life, what was their motto? Like, what was their mantra, their thing that they repeat to themselves? Um, and yeah, so how does that move you forward in life? And I thought about spiritual leaders or uh, leaders in sport or uh, architecture. So. I think Norman is the greatest living architect. I think, you know, there could be some competition, but not much. And uh, and he's just such an amazing guy. I think he's a real hero. So, um, so he was at the top of my list and I asked if he would write a word or a short phrase for me, which was kind of, you know, his motto. And uh, so <laughs> I never forget. So he calls me one day from the car and he was like, Lauren, can you just, this has been sitting on my desk, like, can you just kind of give me the, you know, lay it out for me? And I said, what I just told you, I just, what is your, you know, do you have a short phrase or a thought or an idea that you kind of would repeat to yourself as a kind of life mantra? And, um, and he said, okay, I got it. And then, you know, like two days later, I got it from him in the mail and he wrote, the only constant is change. And, uh, and so he wrote it about five times the only constant has changed, the only constant has changed. And then he put a little arrow on the one that uh, was the, the one he thought I should choose. They were all exactly the same, like <laughs> for my eye, like very nice, neat handwriting, which we've seen on all his drawings. And um, it's a great motto, you know, it's true. <laughs> well, he's just wonderful to work with. He's so easygoing. And um, well, for me anyway, with me, he was always just, you know, he's just a dream. So he, um, he really didn't have much participation after that. You know, it was just, I needed his handwriting and his thought, his idea. So, uh, and then I gave each participant in that show uh, one completed piece as a gift as for participating. And that is the piece which is in the Norman Foster Foundation. And particularly like in my work, uh, and I, I don't know if Norman's is the same, uh, it's one thing to think about form. I remember actually a conversation with Norman when he was building the viaduct in France, you know, it's so much fun to talk to because you're like, what are you working on? I just, oh, I'm working on this bridge. It's the biggest bridge in the world, the tallest bridge in the world. And I, oh, well, what are some of the challenges that you might have, you know, with that? And I remember he was saying, well, the cables, the cables are like a foot diameter. So what shape are they? Are they square? Are they triangle? Are they rectangle? Like that makes a difference. So that's form, that's content. I don't know, you know, it's, I think that it's all important and um, if it doesn't have the content underlying the form, then I think you can tell, like it doesn't come, it doesn't work. Um, but I haven't studied these things formally, so I'm more experiential. Um, but for me, it's important to have the content as well as the form. I think my favorite is the British Museum. Um, it links together, it's transgenerational, it links, cuts through time, and uh, links the past and the future in a way that uh, I think is also authentic to Norman Foster and his work. Like he really thinks about the future. He talks about the future of cities and, um, and the British Museum is such a beautiful, beautiful space that's for everyone. And it goes right back to the beginning of time and goes right into the future, which is unknown. <laughs>